Welcome morning gentlefolk and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as England and uh, we just had a bit of a succession crisis and are currently in the middle of the War of the Roses so um, things are not good uh, we have English Pretender Rebels Wessex Kent Oxford handle them how can we handle them we could give them harsh treatment harsh Mm-hmm. Uh, Irish Patriots defect to Connor, 25% and Cornish Nationalists 19% so uh, all in all not good and it's basically due to this guy's absolute rubbish legitimacy now legitimacy changes by 1.67 every year due to number of raw marriages controlled cardinals and prestige um Papal influence. We are the papal controller, but I don't think we're going to be the papal controller for much longer. And we are at the present losing money at an absolute daft rate because my fleet maintenance is right up for some reason. And I don't know why. Why won't. Fleet maintenance and army. I've got to keep it down due to the expense. So let's unpause it and see what happens. It's probably the best plan. So their morale is really bad because of the maintenance. Uh, if I could get some admin together, that would help a lot. You're doing okay. Two point for your income is two. Po last month you got two point four five from trade. So he's in Antwerp. I'm going to transfer in North Trade Power upstream. Hmm. I don't know if that'll work, but we shall but see. Uh, somebody took a decision. Herald from Provence, they have decided to pass the Liquor Act. Okay. Now you're stuck there because of your rubbish morale. Hmm. All good fun and games. So it's just a case of hanging on. I mean, this got uh, somehow get his legitimacy up. Our stability is rubbish. We could do with getting our stability up. We do have royal marriages, I believe. Um, royal marriages with Navarra, Portugal and Savoy uh, what's my diplomat doing? he is is working to improve relations in Valencia ok so that means that Castile ok Allied with Portugal and Genoa. Oh, that's good. Right, what mission do we have? Because I've forgotten. Scottish Kingdom is a perennial problem. Oh, yes, yes. So that the Scottish age. Well, I don't think that's going to be happening just yet. You're not going to get attrition soon, so I'm actually just going to split you in half. And move one of you here. And move one of you here. And 
I'd move one of you here. Thank you. God. I was hoping to save my admin points. Because I really would do want to get up to level 4. But I might have to spend it on stability. <clears throat> yes. Might. <laughs> So anyway, yes, manpower maximum is 18,170. 18, Currently you gain 158 each month. To really enforce your armies, you need 15,852 men. 608 to reach the armies this month. Wow. Okay. Well. So if I give them harsh treatment, where should it get till night? 1451, giving the following effect minus five, like minus five. <sighs> well, we'll see how many rise up. <laughs> we shall see. At least your morale's back up. So. Vault risk two point eight. Twelve point eight. Twelve point eight. Revolt risk twelve point eight. Hmm. Still losing money. Two point two eight. <clears throat> I don't want to put it down anymore. It's because of this rubbish legitimacy. Oh, here we go. A revolting Glamorgan. Right, you two. Come. Well, no, you come here. And... You come... Stop jumping around. Actually, no. You come here. You come... Here. We'll attack on two fronts. <clears throat> right. You go in there. And you go in there. Well, hang on, what time will you, you arrive on the 22nd of August? You arrive the next day. Actually, change of plan. Oh, can you, can I box at these people? Thank you. Right, you all actually join up. Because I don't think there'll be a river crossing penalty if I go in from Gwynedd. Right, now all of you into there. Thank you. Oh, Austria, my King Austria into the military lines with their new ally Castile. Okay.
absolutely dire. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I can't get a dice roll. Thank you. Nine thousand of you, come on. Oh, for the oh. so frustrating. Come on. This is rubbish. Well, Provence has declared war on the Papal States. We lost a thousand men to their 200, Marv. We're going to lose this. We really are going to lose this. <laughs> well, I don't think we are going to lose it, but it's uh, took half our men. Oh, Wessex. just don't seem to have the ability to finish them off. Yeah, you lost! Oh. Oh, absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely hopeless. So frustrating, and now because our maintenance is so low, it's going to take forever to get them back up. Oh, France has declared war on Provence. Okay. Of course, now we're losing money again. Oh. So frustrating. Well, at least he's not having problems with rebels. And of course, this is just whittling into our manpower. Hmm. Q 
King James the first of York with no legal heirs. And how old is he? He's 21. The legitimacy of 22. Well, mo low morale or not, I'm afraid you're going to go back in. You're going to go here first. And then you're going to go in. Thank you. See if you can recoup some morale on the way. But look, the good news is they don't have enough forces to actually siege the castle. Cornish nationalists. I wonder why that was damn terrific. Cornish nationalists in Wales. Hmm. Okay. Wait, 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 stop outrunning your compatriarch. No, ev oh, everybody of ev oh, God damn clunky control. Everybody stop there, thank you. Oh. I know why it's it's because I'm recording and uh, I'm using uh, XSplit and uh, I don't know it seems it really does seem to drop the frame rate rather than fraps fraps is much better but the post rec but it just takes so long to render the videos afterwards that I'm giving XSplit a bit of a go but I don't know we'll have to see what happens anyway you two now you can go here Brace yourselves. Yep, crap dice roll. What a surprise. A revolt in Northumberland. Okay. Oh, it does help if I unpause. That would be good. But at least this time we're doing a bit of damage. He said. As the War of the Roses rages, and more and more people realise that the stance of neutrality has become practically untenable, a charismatic leader for the House of Lancaster has immersed in Mercia and united the whole region in support of the Red Rose. Tries to lessen the effect by granting local concessions. Oh my. Glass. Um, oh my. Or. Suppress these rebels! Marches get to support House Lancaster's local vote. Nine pretenders rise up in Lincoln. I can't afford to... I'm just going to have... No. Suppress the rebels. They have no men. How have we not won? They have no men. How have we not won? There are now 20 rebels in Northumberland. 20 rebels in Northumberland. Right, well, uh, how's the best way to approach Lincoln without a river crossing? There probably isn't. We'll go, go here first. 
and hopefully you can recoup some morale on the way. Uh, at least they're taking attrition, so that's good. Because there's that many of them. Come on, catch up. Right. Let's join you together. Right then, and in the next episode, um, we'll uh, let our morale recoup and then we'll attack these rebels in Lincoln. So, uh, yeah, War of the Roses. What fun. <laughs> right then, gentlefolk. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, remember to do all the usual things if you like these videos, to like and subscribe and all the other good stuff that people ask you to do. And, and I'll just ask you, but you all do what you want. It's all good to me. Uh, leave me a message if you want. That's good as well. And with that, I thank you for watching. You all take care and look after yourselves. And I shall bid you farewell. And goodbye. <laughs>